sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today we are here with another Minnesota North Stars game from the 9091 season, which I am replaying for the North Stars as the North Stars coach. And um, we, since we last met, since you last saw a North Stars game that I put up on this channel, <clears throat> the North Stars have gone three, six, and one in that time, and we are now 25, 26, and four on the season. And we are in. <laughs> I ain't that good. Currently in third place. 14 points behind Chicago, who's in second, and 18 points behind St. Louis, who is in first. And so let's get let's get on with the game. We um, I think we're still we've still got to be doing better than we were um, than the real than the real North Stars were doing at this point in their season. Um, so. We'll see who's playing today, um, you know, who's getting a rest and who's not. But anyway, uh, we are against Quebec in this particular game. John Casey is in net, our starting goalie. I am going to try to intimidate. And let's see what that, no, did not work. And Sundin is inside shooting on Casey. And that is going to be goalie rating, and uh, that's go. So they're up one nothing, just like that. Matt Sundy, I'm talking about Matt Sundin, lady. <laughs> that's what Casey's talking about right now. Okay, so his 19th goal of the year with an assist by Sackick, and all of a sudden, just like that, they're up one nothing. So it comes back to center ice for the face off. Neil Broughton is taking it for us, Sackick for them. And it goes to Alf Dolan. Let's see what he decides to do with it. Uh, 25% chance, I'm going to say no. Well, I mean, now Sackick is inside on Casey. And he's going to get a goal 115, but somehow that was a save. So that was nice. Face off to Casey's right. And we have possession with Brian Prop taking the puck. And uh, Gagne. Gagne's inside shooting on Scott Gordon. Got to believe that's going to be a goal. Goalie rating plus, no. So we're going to have a face-off to Gordon's left. Scott Gordon. I've never heard of Scott Gordon. So 18.22 left in the period with the Nordiques already up one nothing on us. And uh, Gary Nolan with the puck. Is it Gary Nolan? No, Owen Nolan. All right, so uh, we have an outside shot option with prop. Um, I'm going to try to pass it. And it doesn't look like it was or was successful. No, it was not. So they have the pat they have the uh, puck. Sand pass. And now we have a penalty. Kurt Giles with a penalty. 
So we're going to be shorthanded now. Face off at center ice. <clears throat> so that's not really what we needed. We were, we're down one nothing. Still early in the game, and then we have a penalty. And they have control of the puck. Um, we are, I am going to try to intimidate at 40%. And it didn't work, and so now Fogarty is inside shooting on Casey. And that's going to be a save defensive left wing. That's Barrison who has the puck for us. Got to try to kill this off. And Fogarty's back inside shooting again on Casey. And that's going to be a save defensive center, although we don't have one because we're shorthanded, so he may end up with the puck again. And yes, they do. And this time it's Sackick, the much better Sackick shooting from the inside. And that's going to be a save defensive left wing, which thankfully we do have. And that's Barrison. So, well, we lose the we lost the puck, it looks like. And it looks like the penalty's over, so we're back at even strength. So we we got through the penalty. And uh, we got Sherla from an outside shot option. But really, that's what he has to do. And it's going to be lose to the defensive right defenseman. And that's Vermette who has the puck. Vermette of Quebec and now Barrison took it away and has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save and defensive left wing taking the puck for Quebec. And that's Huff who has it now. 1356 left in the period. We're being outshot 5 to 2 and outscored 1 to nothing. And um, a player for shot, Bellows. I think I'm going to just take bellows which the computer suggested and now he's inside god i think this might be good goal 12 and it is a goal for brian bellows so we've tied the game on a bellows goal that is his 34th goal of the year with an assist by neil brat always love to see an assist by neil brat so uh, we are tied 1-1 and now only being outshot 5-3 at 13.56 of the first period. And as I usually do in these games, just to let you know, I will, at about the 7, the 7 or 8 minute mark of the first period, I will probably put it back to the, like, um, Sundin with an inside shot on Casey. And that's a save. I'll probably go to the uh, like one minute left in the uh, period um, just to knock off some time so that the entire so that the entire um, telecast isn't over an hour. Uh, Quebec has a penalty, Stephen Finn. Nice. So let's see if we can capitalize on that. Face off at center ice, Gagne taking it for us. And Rob Zettler has it for our team. And they took the puck away. 
Failed skate, though, on their part, so we'll, we'll get the puck back. Uh, Dave Gagne has the, has the shot. I'm going to give it. I'm going to keep it with him, and then I'm going to try to pass with him. And no, they, they took the puck away somehow. They broke up the play. And now Sackick has it. But he failed to skate, so we're going to get the puck back again. Only 135 left in the penalty. Um, yeah, Madano. Yeah, let's go with Madano for the shot. And he's going to penetrate. I'm going to say penetrate with him. And he did. He got inside. So it's Madonna inside shooting on Scott Gordon. On the Scott Gordon. And that's going to be a save defensive right defense. So Willannon has it. Craig Willannon, is that who it is? And now we took Bellows took <clears throat> took it away and has an inside shot. That's going to be a rebound. And offensive right defenseman, and that's Jim Johnson. And that's going to be a goal seventeen, and it is a goal for Jim Johnson on the rebound. Nice work from Jim Johnson, who gets his first goal of the year. Always like to see that. So at the 11:20 mark of the first period, we're um, up two to one, and our shots. We have now evened the shots with Quebec at six apiece. And now Door has it. That was, yeah, Daniel Dore. I don't think I've ever heard of him either. Um, Duchesne has an outside shot option, and he's going to try to penetrate just for craps and giggles, and he doesn't. So they have it, they have it back. 9.59 left on the first period. And Kurt Giles took it away and now has an outside shot. And only an outside shot. And he gets a rebound. And I do want to deflect it, yes. That deflection will be dug, done by Doug Smale. And uh, what does he get? He gets a save anybody. So that didn't work real well. And now Raglan has it for Quebec. 9.14 left. Um, oh, extra minor. Uh, we'll do Giles again. I mean, he's already been in the penalty box. Let him have another stay. All right, so we're down a man again. We're leading in shots and goals, though. <clears throat> so hopefully we can kill this off. And they take possession of the puck with 8.55 left. And there's an outside shot for Willannon on Casey. That's going to be a lose to the right wing. And that's Doug Smale. And I think we lost it. And they, no, we do. We have Doug Smale has an outside shot option. He's going to just take it because he can't get inside and he can't really pass real well. And that's a goalie rating. And that's a goal for Doug Smale, a shorthanded goal.
Unbelievable. Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> That's his seventh goal of the year, and it's unassisted. He just went down. He said, let me just take this team on my back. Let's get a two-goal lead. And let's take it, take the bull by the horns. And this would be nice because we would have it, we would even our record up if we could win this game. So uh, Quebec has the puck. And it's the next break in action where it allows me to say that I need to do a next action card. I am going to quick play to the two minutes left in the first period. Um, a player for possession, I, yeah, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to say Dahlquist because he's across from an A penalty guy. And Sand Pass has got an inside shot. I don't know who that is, but. And he's a save defensive center. And we don't have a defensive center yet. With one second left, though, maybe. The penalty's over, I don't know. And it is. And they're asking for a next action. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, let's see. Where is that? Game, quick play, two, two minutes left in the period. And it asked me if I want to do that, and I do, and it's four to two. I don't, I think it was only three to two. Was it only three to two? Yeah, I think it might have only been three to two when we left. So, minute 55 left in the first period. We're winning 4 2, and we have the lead in shots 13 to 10. Uh, 35% chance, I'll say yes to try to intimidate. No penalty, good. Gagne has it for us. 39 seconds left in the period. No penalty on them. It would have been on them. So Prop is inside shooting on Tugnut. They took out the other guy. Yeah, four goals in one period. No, no crap. So that's a save, and then it goes to the defensive center, who is McRae. And there's only 12 seconds left, so time is ticking down here. And we got an outside shot with Wilkinson. And that's going to be a lose to the defensive left defense. And that is the end of the first period. So we come out. After the second, leading four to two and in shots fourteen to ten. And now Tugnut is in goal for the uh, Quebec Nordiques. He was looking for a day off today, but that that dude Scott Gordon just wasn't good enough to give him a day off. So Ope Dolan has it for us off the face off. And now they take the puck back. Uh, let's see. Pat McLeod has the option to intimidate Matt Sundin at 35%. I'll say yes. Doesn't get him off the puck, though, and Sundin is inside. And that's going to be a save defensive right wing. And now Madano has possession of the puck for us.
And is that a penalty on them? Uh, no, it looks like they were offsetting. So we're still at full, still at even strength, five on five. But also still winning four to two. Dahlquist has the puck for us, for the good guys, and uh, select a player for the shot, Barrison. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about my best choice. And he is going to try to penetrate. And he did. Wow. Barrison inside. And that's going to be a safe defensive center. And McNeil has it for Quebec. And Churla is going to have an outside shot. Shane Churla. That's going to be a save. And then the defensive center will scoop it up. So Quebec has it. Sackick with it. And there's an inside shot all of a sudden for Huff on Casey. And that's going to be a save to anybody. And I'm going to give it to Dolan because he's right across from an A penalty. Dolan has it. 16.05 left in the second period with us winning 4-2. to two. Uh, Broughton. Yeah, Broughton, I'll take Broughton with the shot. And he's got an outside shot. And that's going to be a save defensive right wing. And Owen Nolan has it for Quebec. We're out shooting Quebec 17 to 12 with 1534 left in the second period or at the 1534 mark of the second period. Prop with an inside shot and that's a save defensive right wing picks it up for Quebec. Owen Nolan. And that's Pearson with an outside shot for Quebec on John Casey. That's going to be a save defensive right wing. They're not getting good rolls here. Doug Smale picking it up for us. And McCray takes the puck away and has an outside shot. Basil McCray, and he loses, or it, it's a save. And our right wing gets it with 14.32 left in the second period. Still with a goal, a two-goal lead and a four-shot uh, um, advantage. And 13.18 now is left. Raglan has it for uh, Quebec. And uh, Giles took it away and has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save defensive right wing. And Vermet has the puck. And Basil McCray takes the puck away and has an outside shot on Tugman. And that's going to be a save defensive left wing. So Tugnut's come in. He's been pretty good since coming in. He's been shutting us down ever since uh, 
ever since he relieved Scott Gordon, who just couldn't get the job done. And now Dolan is, has an outside shot on Tugnet. And that's going to be another save for Tugnut, and the left wing gets it for Quebec. And uh, Madano takes the puck away now and has the puck. Dave Gagne has an outside shot. Um, he can pass. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he does get inside. Nice. Gagne with an inside shot. And that's going to be a save. And uh, so they have the puck back. Um, Dahlquist has the, uh, option to intimidate Brian Fogarty, and I'm going to say yes. Why not? And it doesn't work, and Fogarty's inside shooting on Casey. And that's going to be a save by Casey with probably a, a face-off to his right. And we'll see who wins a face-off here. We still have a two-goal lead with 10.33 left in the second period. And we are extending our lead in shots, too. It's 22.15 now. And Doug Smale has it for us. And Sandpass has an outside shot for Quebec. And that's going to be a save, and the defensive center um, will pick it up. Who right now is Bobby Smith. Many of you remember, may remember back the first game of the year, Bobby Smith had, I think it was four goals. I think he had four goals in the first game. Anyway, Vermet takes the puck away for Quebec, and now Quebec has possession of the puck with 8.43 left in the second. Um, Harry Barazan has a shot. I'm going to, yeah, we'll let, we'll let him have it. And we're just going to let him take the shot. Outside shot for Barazan. And that's going to be a rebound. And yes, Barazan has the, uh, he got his own rebound. And that's going to be a save defensive center. So the uh, Quebec Nordiques have the puck back. But that was a couple more shots that we got. And now we're ahead 24 16 in shots and 4 2 in the, on the scoreboard. And we, uh, we got the puck back. So Broughton, Neil Broughton has it right now. 7.37 left in the second. And there's going to be an outside shot. Sundin takes the puck away and has an outside shot. I'm talking about Matt Sundin, lady. And there's a save by the right wing, or a save by Casey on the right wing head. And that's Dolan. And now Neil Broughton has an inside shot on Tugnut. And that's going to be a goal 12, and it is a goal. So we go up by three, and the score is 5-2. Five 5-2 to two. Five to two with 6.56 left in the second period. And, uh, yeah, it's looking real good for us. Five goals already. 
I think four given up by Gordon, and that was the first one allowed, I think, by Tugna. And uh, so who's going to come away with the puck here? Us. Well, us. And Brian Prop, Prop has it. And he feeds Gagne for an inside shot on Tugnut. And that's a goal 19. I think I was feeling real good about that. And so now we have a 6-2 to two lead in the game. And that was Gagne's 30th goal with assists by Brian Prop and Mike Madano. Crazy. All right, you know what? I'm going to skip ahead to the... Um, I think I'm going to skip ahead to the um, end of the second period. And it is 6-3, so they apparently got a goal. Yes, they apparently got a goal. So we're coming out for the third period now. <laughs> With a 6-3 lead in the game and a 27-20 shots advantage. And uh, we just got to hold on to a, a three-goal lead for the next 20 minutes. And then we will have a 500 record at game uh, 54 of the season. And Huff has the puck for Quebec. I mean, normally I wouldn't have skipped ahead so far there, but I mean, I think it's apparent that we're going to uh, take Quebec to the cleaners. And even if we don't, the you would see the entire comeback here in the third period. So Jim Johnson, who had his first goal of the year in this game, has possession of the puck. So you wouldn't really miss anything, you know, um, like if there's some kind of dramatic comeback, we're going to see it. And Pearson has an outside shot on John Casey. And it's a goalie rating. And that's a save. So, uh, and I guess he covered it up. So it's going to be a face off to Casey's right. And uh, let's see who gets it. Madonna. We'll have possession of the puck. 17.56 left in the game. We still have the three-goal lead, the good three-goal lead. And, uh, yeah, we'll give it to Brian Prop. And uh, they take possession back. Door has it now, Daniel Door. Not D-O-O-R, but D-O-R-E. And we have a penalty. Duchesne with a, pen with a two-minute penalty that we now have to kill off. Although I'm not as worried about that with a three-goal lead and only 17 minutes left in the game. Although we have seen comebacks. I think that there were some, some pretty dramatic comebacks in the past in, these, uh, in the televised games that I put up. So let's not act like we've got this in the bag. But I... I'm thinking maybe we do. And now Kurt Giles has the puck for us off the faceoff. And they take it away, and Matt Sundin has an inside shot on Casey. That's going to be a save, and the defensive right wing will get it for us. And that's Neil Broughton. And uh, they take it away, and Sundin has another inside shot on Casey. And that's going to be a save, and the defensive right wing gets it. And that's Brock. So 15.55 left in the game with us uh, holding a 6-3 lead. 
And Neil Broughton has an outside shot. I'm just going to take it right now. We're just throwing rubber at the net. That's all we need to do. And see what happens. And that's going to be a save by Casey. And then the left defenseman will come away with it for Quebec. And that's Finn. Brian Finn. Is that who it is? No, Stephen Finn. So they've got the puck, Quebec does, but time is running down on them. They only have 15.03 left. I'm not even going to intimidate because I don't want to take the chance on a uh, penalty this late in the game with this big of a lead. And Willannon is going to have an inside shot. And that's going to be lose to defensive right wing. And that for us right now is all Thalen who has the puck. And we took the puck away from them, so now McLeod has it. And uh, McLeod lost it to Willannon, and Willannon has an outside shot for Quebec. That's a goal four, but it's not high enough, so that's going to be a face-off to Casey's right with 13.50 left in the game. Hopefully in the game definitely in the period and uh, Finn has an outside shot and that's going to be a save and the defensive left wing will get it and that's Brian Prop. and uh, we got an outside shot Ga yes Gagne has an outside shot um, I'm going to try to penetrate, just to try to penetrate, and he did not get inside. So They've got the puck back. Hopefully I don't make any decisions that cause uh, a late comeback by then. He still got 12.48 left, so three goals in 12.48 would be difficult, but it's not certainly not unheard of. And Sandpass has an outside shot on John Casey. And that's going to be a save, and the left defenseman will pick up the puck. And that's going to be Zettler at this moment for us, who has the puck. 12.15 left. I'm going to say no. We're not going to try to intimidate. So Yelishek, Velishek has an inside shot on Casey. That's going to be a lose to the defensive left wing. And that's Bellows. And now Bellows has possession. And let's see if we can work it down ice. Outside shot for Dolan. I'm just going to have him take it. And that's going to be a goal 11. And it's a goal for Dolan. Well, now I think you can say we've got it wrapped up. 11.38 left, and it's a 7-3 lead for us. And that was Dolan's seventh of the year with assists by Brian Bellows and Neil Brown. So I don't think we have anything to worry about. I think this thing is in the bag now. 11.38 uh, left. We got a four-goal lead. We're out shooting them 29-26. We're really definitely out playing them. Um, their problems really stemmed, I think, mainly from the fact that they were trying to give Tugnot a rest in this game and play Scott Gordon in net, and uh, that those plans didn't work out real well. So Sundin has the puck, and uh, he gave it to Sackick, who penetrated. So Sackick has an inside shot, and that's going to be a goalie rating, and uh, that's going to be a goal. So they make it 7-4, but uh, still a three-goal lead for us with 10.56 left. This has really been a kind of a like old Western shootout here. 
It's not like anybody's really got the uh, edge. So face off at center ice. A uh, little over half the period left, but we have a three goal lead still. So, and Madano gets the puck off the face off. Pearson has an outside shot on Casey, taking the puck away from Madano. And there's going to be a save, and our center comes up with it. That's Gagne. And Owen Nolan has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save right wing. So our right wing will have the puck uh, off the save by Casey. And maybe they took the, the puck away again. Yes, they did. And Sandpass has an outside shot off of it. 9.17 left. That's going to be lose to the right wing. And so Doug Smale has it for the Minnesota North Stars. And uh, man, Dorr had takes the puck away and he has an outside shot. So they're speckling Casey here late. That's going to be a save and our left defenseman comes away with the puck. And that's Zettler, Rob Zettler. And they take the puck away, and Tony Twist, is that who it is? Tony Twist has an outside shot. And it's going to be a save by Casey. So they actually have taken the lead in shots, 31-29, but they're still losing by three goals on the scoreboard. And that's what's important. And Sackick has an outside shot. Yeah, they're, they are just taking the puck away from us and getting shots and getting shots and getting shots. But Casey is uh, up, to the, uh, up to the challenge. I'm going to give the puck to Broughton. And, uh, well, Gagne, because I guess our lines changed. So there's seven minutes left in the game now. And we still have a three-goal lead. So, Sackick, or no, Her, who is that? Herkak? Whatever, whoever it is that was a shot with a uh, left defenseman coming in to get the puck. So, Giles now had it. And they take it away again, Hercak again. And that's going to be a save, and the right wing gets it. I don't you know, if they keep doing this, Casey might work his way into a star, even though he's given up four goals. Probably really not. We have seven goals, but still. And again, they take the puck away. They do a nice uh, long stretch pass, and now Dorr has an outside shot. And again, it's a save by Casey. And now McLeod has it. Now there's 4.49 left, pretty much. That's... You know we're going to win. You know it. Um, Neil Broughton has an outside shot, but he's a nice passer. I'm going to try to weave a nice pass here. But it didn't work, I don't think. Nope, it was picked off. So they got the puck back. Somehow I don't see him scoring three goals in four minutes.
You know who we haven't seen this game is LaFleur. All right, so we've got the puck. Gagne has it. So LaFleur probably was is getting a day off here, which is uh, also benefits us. Their second string goalie started and LaFleur isn't playing. Um, Mike Madano has an outside shot. We're just going to take it. I mean, there's no sense in trying to weave passes and embarrass them even more. Is there? So that's going to be a save, and they can pick any player to give it to. And they give it to Herkak. Three minutes left in the game. And there's a penalty on somebody, and it's on us, Dave Gagne. Is that his third time in the penalty box? He's got the hat trick for the penalty box. No, it wasn't Gagne, no. That was uh, it was somebody else. It was one of our defensemen. So they got the puck, 242 left. Tony Twist with an outside shot. And that's going to be a lose to the defensive center. Uh, Zettler with the uh, option to intimidate, and I'm going to say yes. With that kind of intimidation chance, yeah. And we get the puck back, and there's probably less than 212, but showing 212. Um, Duchesne with an outside shot, we'll just take it. Yeah, we're just going to take it. Duchesne from the outside. That's going to be a save, and the left defenseman comes up with it. Sam, or uh, Twist has it. Um, I'm going to say no, that's too low, and we have too big of a lead. That's going to be a save anybody, and I'm going to give it to Dahl, Dahlquist, who's right across from an A. And now Jim Johnson has it. We're back to even strength. There's only 43 seconds left. And Finn has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save by Casey. And it uh, looks like this is probably the last card of the game. Ten seconds left. And uh, Duchesne with an outside shot. We'll just take it. And that's going to be a save in the right wing. That should do it. And it does. And as you can see, we won the game handily 7-4. to four And out, uh, we're, even though we were outshot, 36-32. And the uh, stars of the game were Doug Smale for us, Matt Sundin for Quebec, and Brian Bellows for us. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, remember, subscribe to the channel. Send it to anybody you think might be interested. Leave a comment. All comments help. They help me get noticed on uh, YouTube and um, suggested to other sports fans. But for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.